We will always have split screen in going forward. We have had to make the difficult decision not to ship campaign split screen co-op. Not only does Halo Infinite have a dose of bad news, but somehow they even managed to make it seem even worse than it is. Microsoft, what are we doing to remedy this problem? There is a problem with what was once your flagship IP, one of the most iconic, recognizable, successful fucking video games of all goddamn time. Man, sometimes it's just rough being a Halo fan. This is a complete misunderstanding of what Halo is at its core. Halo CE was never meant to be competitive. The whole idea was that it was meant to be a fun party game. If you pull up a tweet from one of the original Bungie devs, they say, and I quote, Halo is dead. Halo Infinite is dead. And why they were not there day one. That includes Forge and Campaign Co-op. And here in fall of 2022, it's still not here. 343 Industries needs to go. They do. They have had four chances to bring us Halo. Halo 4, Halo 5, Halo the Master Chief Collection, and Halo Infinite. And every single time, they fucked up. This is the franchise that ensured the initial success of the Xbox brand, that then went on to ensure the initial success of Xbox Live, that set the course for every console first-person shooter born after 2001, and that established the foundations of online matchmaking as we know it. 343 Industries has completely destroyed any potential this game had. Something I really need to ask is what the fuck is going on at 343. This video is a message to 343 Industries, the current development company responsible for the creation and production of Halo. We want Microsoft and 343 to kind of like acknowledge that they hear us. You know, we've all been let down in our life. We have been disappointed and today I have been let down greatly. Why am I not surprised 343 has broken yet again Yet again, another promise they made to us. So 343 just came out and spread their cheeks for half an hour in this video and just shit all over the Halo community, doing things like bringing back the Halo Reach armors that they advertised the game with and then treating it like it's a big deal, while simultaneously making it sound like we were babies for even wanting it in the first place. This is the failure of 343 Industries. We're a very competitive game. That's our DNA. That's who we are. Right? You go back all the way to the very first Halo, right? Multiplayer, I mean... It's, it is a highly competitive game, so. The correct answer to the question, who is the worst game developer, is 343 Industries. I don't know whether to be excited about Halo or to just call it. 343 has finally done it. They've officially made a game that is worse than Battlefield 2042 at launch. I don't normally do this kind of content, um, but I feel passionately enough about it that I feel like I need to weigh in. I don't really know what to say other than this channel is dead and will no longer be receiving any videos of any kind. Uh, I think it goes without saying that 343 has really let the community down in a lot of ways. You know, it's sad when Battlefield 2042, a game that was slammed to shit on release, has a more active player base than a free-to-play Halo game. It has now been eight, nine months after release. I think time is up. Coatings offer us a unique opportunity to craft some hyper-polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. So we're coming at this from a player-first mentality. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through playing the game. With 22,000 upvotes and it's discussing some allegedly data-mined cosmetics that are going to be coming to Halo Infinite in the first season and people are pretty outraged about this stuff so also people are a little annoyed because some of the stuff that seems to be in this list are armor pieces that are technically in the battle pass but you can only use it as part of noble team's kits like you can only use it as the emil kit and then you can't use that same shoulder piece unless it's in the kit but now they're gonna let you unlock it in the store so that's pretty scuffed i definitely don't like that we are going to be giving people the uh, mark 5 core um, there's going to be a bunch of Reach stuff that people have wanted for a while, including the CQC and CQB, as well as uh, maybe a, a knife you might attach to a, you know, a shoulder or something. Or a uh, chest plate. Or a chest plate. You know, could be whatever you like. 343 just came out and spread their cheeks for half an hour in this video and just shit all over the Halo community, doing things like 
bringing back the Halo Reach armors that they advertised the game with and then treating it like it's a big deal, while simultaneously making it sound like we were babies for even wanting it in the first place. All of these rewards are single source, so you're never going to be confused about where things come from. If you can unlock something in the Battle Pass, we're not going to let any other players circumvent that by purchasing it out of the storefront. What's up everybody? Callister here. I, I bought $100 worth of credits. It's just an instant gratification type of thing. And I want the instant gratification. 100, I really did not expect that to take as long as it did. What did it take to finish the battle pass? It took 558 matchmaking games. This finally leads to the most recent event, which is the newest roadmaps for Infinite. The fall slash winter roadmap includes yet another delay to forge and campaign co-op, split screen co-op entirely being canceled, Fallout 76 and even Anthem managed to do more in their first couple months than 343 has been able to achieve in almost one full year. I didn't do that, you did that! You had, you had a whole fucking year! You had a whole fucking year! That's that, like an extra year and nine months is pretty generous. And we still don't have like an actual progression system. Customs, to my knowledge, don't work. Battle Pass progression is like just, it's still terrible. The game is missing core features, core modes, theaters busted. So you had an extra year and nine months. Time's up.